everyone, thank you for joining me on a very lovely day. I am uh, not in Miami anymore. I am in front of the Hilton Fort Lauderdale Marina. And uh, this is the start of my second cruise. This is travel month after all for me. Uh, so I got off a cruise about uh, two days ago uh, and that landed in Miami. Now I'm in Fort Lauderdale, but I had a day in between. So I stayed at this hotel, which was pretty good, but that's not the important bit because the important bit is that right there because that is now my truck <laughs> now i know some of you have been giving me tips on what truck to get uh, i did ask you uh, for some help as to uh, you know what can uh, tow and and uh, hold my uh, my family over a long trip and what would be a really good road trip car and something that's reliable and dependable and actually not uh, not too expensive and this is what i got so this is a 1999 Ford F-350 Dually, and this has the 7.3 liter diesel, which will not die no matter how much, whoops, there's a uh, car coming. This has the 7.3 liter V8 turbo diesel, which is probably the most reliable and, uh, and dependable engine, uh, at least diesel engine that uh, Ford has ever made. This is a power stroke. So let's take a little bit of a tour around the car. It, it's, a, it's my first day with this car. I bought it yesterday. It's not exactly sat unseen. Uh, I saw it on Craigslist and I, I basically begged the guy to, uh, to hold it for me until I got back from the cruise, but he did and uh, I paid for it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, and it's not exactly a 99, um, you know, from the, uh, the outside and the inside, but let's take a little tour and I'll show you what's what. Here she is, the uh, crown jewel of the uh, Ford pickup family. Well, actually, they, they make bigger ones, but this is a crew cab. It has the long bed, long eight foot bed, and it has those dual rear tires. That's why they call it a dually. Um, and they do that because it's uh, better for towing. I mean, that's what people say. I think it's more uh, stable for towing um, on the highway. If you have something big like an RV or a boat or a small city block you know whatever you need to tow this can do it now the eagle-eyed viewers will see that this is not a 99 front end and it isn't uh it, it actually is a uh, 2006 2007 front end and it was put on there by the previous owner so i got this from a shop that customizes these things it's called eight lug customs in uh, in miami it's in uh, hollywood florida and they did a pretty decent job. Uh, the car was, well, the truck, the truck was repainted. Not, not the best paint job in the world. I mean, there is like some, some overspray and some, uh, some running and stuff, but this is a work truck. I don't really care that much. It's, uh, it's all one color, which is great. Some of these trucks, especially for this kind of mileage and this price weren't one color, but, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, nicks and scratches here, but it's not not in bad shape at all. Going around the back, you can see the Super Duty badge, which was not on the 99, but uh, it was definitely on the 07, or 06 rather. And there's some uh, some tinted tail lights. And to paraphrase uh, Mr. Regular from Regular Car Reviews, I tinted my tail lights so they work less. Uh, so I need to take this off, this uh, tint. I don't know if it's a film or anything. I haven't really taken a look, taken a deep look at any of these uh, modifications, but. They do look kind of cool since it has like a white and black motif, but I don't really like them because it's hard to see. Look at these fender arches. See, this is my first diesel and my, definitely my first dually. And this thing is big. I mean, I'm all the way backed up on this space. You know, this, uh, I'm right here on the, uh, on the stopper here. And look how far this extends, even past this this is a uh, the Z71. I believe this is a Silverado. The Silverado is big. It's a crew cab itself. It's a, it's a Denali rather. And look how far past the GMC this comes out. <laughs> this is 20 and a half feet long, and I think it'll just fit in my garage. But uh, it's gonna take some. It's gonna take some squeezing, it's gonna take some lube. So the 2006 conversion didn't just end at the exterior. So on the interior, let me try to get the keys out of my pocket. It also has this uh, 
this nifty little eh, this cool little alarm. So you open it up and it has a 2006 or 2007 interior as well and everything here is is tinted and uh, it's actually really really dark uh, at night so uh, I wasn't really <laughs> wasn't really ready for that but let me get inside oh yeah it's actually actually pretty quiet in here so before I started up this truck has 261,574 miles on it that seems like a lot to uh, to many people. It's not really that much for this truck. This truck is a half million mile truck. No problem if it's been taken care of. And it does look like this truck has been taken care of. It has a DP tuner, which uh, tunes shift points. It tunes uh, the engine, um, the engine tuning, the, the PCM tuning uh, to give it a little more power or uh, a little more uh, fuel economy stuff like that. I usually leave it stock because uh, I don't exactly know what other mods have been done to it. I think the truck has an exhaust, but you know, who knows? Uh, I do have to check that out. Has a Pioneer head unit, nothing special there. Okay, I think the truck just locked itself. Let me, uh, let me unlock it. All right, so this has a factory um, trail brake uh, gain uh, adjuster or something. This does not work, and I don't think you can make it work with uh, with the 99. And uh, I think this just came with the uh, the whole interior. But it does have this Kurt uh, gain adjuster right here. So, and it also has a little uh, power inverter just in case you want to plug in a coffee maker. This is a full crew cab. This comes up, and you can fit six people: three in the front and three in the back. There's a lot of room in here. Uh, and this is the Lariat uh, model. I don't think the model is actually a Lariat. I think they just had a uh, interior from a Lariat. So let me turn it on because it is getting quite hot. So in a diesel, you want to wait for this little light to come off. That wait to start light. Okay, that's off. Now we can start it up. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Now we can start it up and oh yeah. And there's no smoke that comes from it. There's, uh, it, it runs very, very nicely. See, there's a, there's a little backup camera. I just put the camera there. Um, I actually just uh, put it on the input of the camera, just so you can see what's back there, because it is very, very hard to park. But the AC works a treat. Um, there's a lot of cup holders. There's cup holders in here. There's uh, cup holders in here. There's like two in the back. And um, yeah, this is a really, really good road trip vehicle. Um, I'm not sure what else I can uh, I can say about this. Uh, I am going to be doing some modification. I'm going to be doing some repair to this uh, this truck, but it's it's just an awesome, awesome value. So I know some of you want to know how much I paid for it. I know originally I had a budget cap set at uh, around five thousand dollars. Now, um, actually, you know what? Let me go outside because I want you to look at, just take a look at this car while I'm yapping. So I originally set the budget at $5,000 and $5,000 is, uh, is a decent amount to spend on a truck. In Florida, especially, there's a lot of F-150s and they're older. You're not, you're not gonna find something like this. This is gonna be definitely in uh, you know teens, maybe 20s uh, for something like this, like a crew cab, uh, even with a short bed. But this, um, you can't find any decent ones uh, for $5,000. I mean, you find one maybe with a blown engine or a later model uh, with a 6.0 that did have some issues uh, with, uh, with longevity and reliability. Um, but uh, the 7.3s were pretty much uh, untouchable at that price point. So I had to up the budget a little bit. So this one cost, uh, cost me, and I got a good deal for it, I think. It was 7,500 bucks. So 7,500 bucks gives me a crew cab, diesel, long bed, dually, in great shape, doesn't have any rust, uh, has the, you know, has some leaks uh, and stuff in the engine. I think maybe an oil or coolant leak or something. No, nothing to be, they're like weeping, nothing to be uh, too concerned about. But uh, this is all fixable. 
and it's something that uh, is not going to really detract from the trucks running and it's not going to detract from me being able to tow basically anything. This thing has, uh, I think it's like 13,000 pounds it has as a tow, uh, tow rating, but there's ways to up that. There's ways to get uh, different gearing and you can up that to basically sky's the limit on, uh, on these things. Um, yeah, so I spent 7,500 bucks uh, on this as a tow rig and something like a, uh, maybe just a good road trip car. And I'm really, really excited to share that with you. So that's sort of uh, the tour. That's, uh, that's the uh, preliminary inspection. Again, I've only had this car for a day. I don't know if it's gonna blow up on me, but uh, right now I have to park it for the next um, week and change because I'm going on another cruise and uh, you're coming with me. So uh, that's gonna be exciting. But uh, for now, I'm gonna say goodbye to this truck uh, for now, but then I'm gonna be picking it up, driving it about three or four hours back to my house and then the real fun will begin. But uh, thanks for joining me today. As always, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe, uh, give us a like on Facebook, you can uh, follow me at Apita online, and uh, yeah, and check out my antics with this car. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to update you more than I've updated you on, uh, on my other projects, which still are a thing, by the way. I still am doing the Ultimate Daily Driver, and I will be doing stuff with the Aston Martin, and I do have a secret project that, um, I'm sort of thinking about, but uh, that's gonna have to wait till another day. So having said that, this is me saying goodbye.